Hi, this is... Uh, I, I never started with the basics with this one. Um, so this section, I'm just going to, like for today, or for this video, I'm just going to talk about what I do with my voice. So this section's going to be really hard because I don't even have my pop filter on. So whenever I make any P's, you'll find that when, especially with s s P's and P's tend to completely overblow the microphone. And obviously if I'm intentionally doing it, but even like the T's, the D's, the P's and the P's, like pop, popcorn, pop, the popcorn princess pretends it's just, it sounds really bad. Um, so the first thing I do is I use a pop filter and what that does is just put a little bit of uh, material between the microphone and my voice and it does reduce the amount so I don't know if it'll be noticeable or not but I'll probably be a bit quieter and a bit more muffled but it means that I can say things like popcorn princess and don't get me wrong the P's and the B's are still fairly pronounced but they're nowhere near as over driven or blowing out as they were before so this is the first thing I do uh, because I've got an XLR an XLR microphone plugged into a box and that box goes into the computer <laughs> um, audio interface audio interface I think it's called I started with a Kmart USB microphone like up until oh, uh, all my songs up until Riley's remix were completely with that like my guitar everything it was weirdly capable and in fact this is the pop filter from that so so yeah so it starts with this and what I then do from here is I add different effects. So the first one that I do is just an EQ, um, and that EQ, it sort of emphasizes the, or the 100 hertz and 1000 hertz, or the one kilohertz up to the 10 kilohertz. Uh, it's, it's basically just a preset that kind of emphasizes the voice, makes it a little more clear. And then from that, I will then introduce a compressor. And what the compressor does is it takes the shortest noise and the loudest noise and sort of makes it the same. I will tweak that over time and make sure that it's all good and everything. But yeah, what I can then do is sort of bump up the output from the EQ because now the compressor is going to be dealing with some of those louder noises. And now you get this kind of thing. And then one of the last things I do is a limiter. And the limiter is just designed to sort of take my voice from what it is to as loud as possible without clipping. And normally at this point I would add, like the song I'm working on now, I've added an overdrive filter to it. It's a very light one, but it just adds a bit more crunch or a bit more mild distortion to sort of match the electric guitar and everything that it's using um, and I would then move on to other instruments but the last thing that I do and I'm sure that people that know a lot more about this than me would be like oh but you're forgetting all these things and I'm like yeah I'm still learning give me a break is the mastering <sighs> oh, I need to take a breath <laughs> um, and at which point with this mastering I can then add on I've, I, re I really like, where, where is it? There is a wide and warm. So I really like the way that this sounds. Um, so this just brings me up to that maximum level as loud as possible. This brings me to the loudest point without, without clipping and allows for significantly more clear. However, <laughs> uh, it gets a little ASMR if I'm not careful. And that's one of the things I have issue with is my old people disease of I don't always produce saliva. But yeah, so this is just a series of other compressors and audio and EQs and all that that just allow this to really, really resonate. And especially um, being assigned male at birth means that when I tap into the slightly lower frequencies, this really starts to bring out just how loud your voice can become when it's properly mastered. But you'll notice that when I yell and when I talk very quietly, 
it will bring me up. So that as I'm talking quietly and louder and louder, and although this may sound louder, they're realistically not that much different, although the waveform says otherwise, so maybe I don't know what the I'm talking about. But yeah, so I do those things to process my voice. So that's one of the simpler things I probably should have talked about a while ago, is this is what I do with my voice. So I go from this to this to this once it's all done and done with. So yeah, I think it's pretty neato. Um, 